Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for Libra. This is going to be for your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. Uh, what do they want from you? So uh, Libra, we're going to take a look at someone that is possibly recently coming back into your life or someone that you're already dealing with. Uh, we're going to see what this person wants from you and then we'll finish off the read to see uh, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life or if you continue moving forward with this individual. So just apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message uh, did it resonate with you? Take a look at your other placements if you guys haven't done so yet. Hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video, share this video, leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Libra people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading tailored to your specific unique situations and your energies, I suggest you uh, book a private personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below, okay? So, uh... Libra, let's get started. Tell me about Libra here. The person that Libra is, uh, that, that Libra is dealing with or the person that Libra is recently coming in, uh, back into Libra's life. What does this person want from Libra? What does this person want from Libra? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for November 2022. Alright, what does this person want from Libra? Hmm. Whoever this is, Libra, they might want to talk to you, but this person doesn't speak the truth. And I feel like with the Justice card, Libra, you might already know that. You could have learned your lessons from this individual here. Yeah, whoever this is, Libra, you might have ended things with this individual, but I feel like this person does not want things to end here, okay? This person has been very, very, very in and out of your life, okay? Uh, this person comes and goes as they please. Um, and, and, you know, one of the things I'm also getting here is that this person travels a lot. And I feel like in the past, when this person had trips that came up, this person never told you. And this person would disappear, like, weeks, months at a time, and they'd come back, like, you know, hey, what's going on, Libra? But, yeah, this is an individual that's... That doesn't speak the truth, and they feel like you already know. Uh, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy here. You got the Eight of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles. Seems like this person has a hard time letting you go. One of the things is that this person wants you. This person wants your loving attention. But when you give it to them, they tend to distract themselves or distance uh, themselves from you. So I feel like it's kind of like a game that they play here, okay? Uh, Ace of Swords in the reverse. Look at the Nine of Swords here. This is strange. This person has a hard time telling the truth. It really stresses this person out. Seems like this person tends to like to keep a facade. This person keeps an image, okay, by telling lies here, okay? Uh, not just to you, but I feel like this person tells lies to, like, everybody. Uh, the uh, Justice card. We have the lovers. There could be a soul contract between you guys. Uh, this could also be a same-sex relationship, okay? But, you know, I just feel like this person doesn't want this connection to end. Yeah, this person does not want this connection to end. You know, it could be that this person tried to, like, figure out ways to, like, sort of, like, balance out the connection here. But I feel like this person's trying to do that through lies, okay? Weird, but yeah. Knight of Wands with the Queen of Pentacles, the world, and the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I mean, you're definitely being chased here, okay? Um, I feel like this is your person, and I feel like this Queen of Pentacles is you, but you can switch the roles if you want. But I feel like this person is definitely chasing their crap out of you. But you don't want anything to do with the person because you're not even facing this person. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, uh, Aries, Leo, Sag with the King of Wands. You could have any of those energies in your chart that I read out, okay? Uh, or that you could be dealing with any of those energies. Uh, Eight of Pentacles here. You the Five of Wands. Tell me about this uh, Four of Pentacles. Why is the Four of Pentacles here? And the Seven of Wands. Oh, hold on one sec. Okay, 
five of wands. You know, I feel like one of the things, you know, I feel like this person likes to create drama. I, I feel like this person, I don't know if this person's like testing you to see how far they, that they could push you. But I just feel like you just don't want to play these games anymore. Okay. I do feel like this is an individual that's really guarded, that doesn't really share a lot about themselves. I feel like, you know, even though you guys have a really strong connection, I feel like you know, I feel like you guys just don't know this person really well, okay? What will happen if Libra allowed this person back into their life or if Libra continue moving forward with this individual here? The Sun and the Seven of Swords. You know, I feel like this is something that you can't unsee. You know, I feel like this is something that you know that this person is just going to continue to lie to you. And I feel like you see that, you know, the Sun, Leo energy, the Empress here, and it's the Lovers, not the Lovers, the Two of Cups. You're definitely looking for like ascended love. You know, I, I just feel like you just don't want to deal with this kind of like low vibing relationship. Yeah, just not romantic, but like in friendships, in family, okay? The Empress and the Two of Cups, we have the Ace of Wands here. And the Six of Cups, yeah, we have someone here that's still really passionate towards you. But, you know, I just feel like, you're, like I said, you've learned your lesson here and I feel like, you know, it could be that you're moving on. Yeah, you're moving on here, okay? Uh, tell me about the sun, the ace of cups. Seven of, cup, seven of swords and the nine of cups. Yeah, it just seems like there's a lot of lies and deception going on here. I mean, Libra, this could be you just putting it out there in the universe, looking for new love here. You're not chasing, you're focusing on yourself, you're focusing on your happiness here. I just feel like you're just unbothered by this individual here, the Empress and the King of Pentacles, okay? The King to the Queen of Pentacles, this is a true pair. Uh, the Lovers, Eight of Swords, yeah, I just, this person just, I feel like this person can't stop thinking about you. I do feel like this person is in love with you, just that this person's not very honest, that's the thing. Ace of Wands and the King of Cups, Six of Cups, and Temperance here. You know, I just feel like this person's going to, continue to try is uh, you know but you know with the tower here and the wheel of fortune you know this could be the indication that the universe is sure sort of like showing you the signs or showing what you need to know or that you already know that this person is going to blow up your world again okay so uh libra i hope that this was helpful i hope that this resonated if it did leave a comment down in the comment section below Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.